Critics of Westboro Baptist Church love to bring up the accusations and allegations that Fred Phelps was abusive. And they're not talking about mental abuse. They're talking about, first and foremost, physical abuse. But I wonder, what is the point of making these accusations? Surely they are to show Fred Phelps is bad. But isn't it overkill? A lot of these people already think he's bad. Most people think he's bad. It seems to me irrelevant whether he abused his kids or not in the argument that society says he's bad. If you can disprove he didn't beat his kids, will then you be convinced he's not bad? Furthermore, I grew up in a home very similar to Fred Phelps's, not in any overt sense, as my family did engage in a picketing ministry when my family was in a church, but it was a fundamentalist home and not your ordinary fundamentalist home either. It was to the max. I was telling one of my co-workers about my home and he noted that it's sure interesting that my dad was an alcoholic and a fundamentalist because usually those two don't go together. In fact, in graduate school I did my thesis on the temperance movement which was full of religious fundamentalists and they hated alcohol. Alcohol and fundamentalism are both ass backwards approaches to the world and when they are combined it's sheer lunacy. Interesting thing about this is they caused a lot of damage to me and my dad and my stepmom but didn't raise a hand. Fred Phelps could still cause damage to his children without raising a hand. This child abuse argument doesn't make much difference. Furthermore, Fred Phelps, if he did abuse his children, and his wife, like the book Addicted to Hate suggests, then we have to realize he's not the only one. People like to point out his supposed child abuse. But what about the abuse of other people? I remember years ago it came out that Garth Brooks was engaging in domestic violence. Vanilla Ice was engaging in domestic violence. Most recently, Chris Brown was engaging in domestic violence. A lot of Hollywood stars do that type of shit. He's not the only one. If he did it. And like I've also said, it's purely cultural. There are, I'm not just talking about cultures in countries far away. I'm talking about right here in the United States. It's a very white middle class thing to say it's always wrong to hit your kids. There are cultures all around that say it's okay to not just spank, but to hit hard with a belt cause a bruise if the kid is not doing what they need to do. That doesn't make it right, certainly, but it is suggesting that this notion that that means Fred Phelps is bad is asinine and it is mistaken. I personally don't believe in even spanking kids, but this is no way to argue the case. Of course, 
the critics of Westboro Baptist Church generally don't have very good arguments anyways. Ever hear that Garth Brooks song? The Night I Called the My Old Man Out? That is not he, Garth Brooks wanting to keep the fact that he beat his wife secret, but it's bringing this it's okay to abuse your children out in the open because he was disrespectful to his father his father punched him in the nose why do so many people buy Garth Brooks' albums with terrible lyrics like that but they have a problem with Fred Phelps mostly the child abuse allegations don't matter to any argument of course trying to put the opponents into the field of logic is a very difficult thing to do because they're so illogical what do these child abuse allegations make a difference if it's to save children then there's a hell of a lot of children we can save I worked in the public schools and guess what one longtime teacher would hit her the children in the class I took her aside and told her that this was something that didn't even look good this was in the 2000s not in the 1960s 1940s 2000s so this is a very mainstream thing a lot of people like to suggest that Fred Phelps is so different than everyone else but I don't think he really is in many cases Child abuse is all over the place. It doesn't prove squat if Fred Phelps is guilty of child abuse. 